Hello, hello again, and um, this will be a continuation of the UV mapping a torso in Maya tutorial. And in this tutorial, we will unwrap the arm. So this should be a very quick tutorial, and I won't actually go through the individual things how to unwrap or what unwrap is because I went through that in my last tutorial. So if you want to know that, just go check my tutorial. Out. So. Let's unwrap the arm here. We have the torso set up already from the previous lesson. I haven't done anything to it. Uh, it's exactly the same. As you can see, we have the same UVs here. What I might do is just select all the UVs and move them over to here. Just to make some space. Uh, so let's also take the arms here. And uh, let's be, let me isolate select that one by going to show, isolate select, and view select selected. So now we want to have the arm viewable, and for now let's make a planar map from the z-axis. So now you can see it's on a C and up here and stuff. So we also need to make some uh, some seams here. So let's go into here and uh, display the texture edges by pressing that. As you can see now they got thicker. Uh, so and I might go a little fast in this one, but I went through all the individual commands and uh, things that you are going to have to use uh, in my previous video so you might want to check that out uh, so okay let's uh, this is basically almost the same as the torso uh, we would just want to select the center line that goes through here so for this one uh, there's actually two center lines this one and this one so I believe I'll take this one to create my seam there so let's take this one select continuous edges that should select the entire edge loop yes and uh, let's go to edit UVs, cut UV edges, that will create that. And uh, let's go into the uh, UV editor right here. And let's just select maybe that one and let's say that one. To pin those and inverse that selection. And now unwrap. Actually, never mind. We, for now, we won't select anything. Let's just have it like this. So now you can just unwrap it without pinning anything. And arms are actually really, really simple, and this should basically be enough to get you started up because this is if we size it up to make them smaller. Um, as you can see, we barely have any distortion, maybe some here, but that we can fix later on. So that's pretty much it for the arm. I might go through and just unwrap it a little bit more inside to just relax it a bit. And oops, never mind, some of that. And actually, this area I can just unwrap again. And I might also go to polygons and relax to relax and just redo it like a couple times by hitting G. So there we go, our UVs for the arms are finished. Uh, so this is a very short tutorial actually. <coughs> I'm going to show you <laughs> where the seams are actually. So, <coughs> okay, thanks for watching. And uh, the next one will be, or actually, never mind, sorry about that. Uh, I will have to show you one more thing here. Uh, because now we can see that we have the UVs working for one of the arms, but the other arm here is not. Basically, it has the same lousy UVs as before. So how do we transfer the UVs from one object to another? That is actually very, very simple in Maya. Let's go to a full screen perspective view here. What we, got, what we will do here, we will select one of the arm, the unwrapped arm, and then we will shift select, <coughs> sorry, shift select this arm, which is not unwrapped, and I will go to me Mesh, Transfer Attributes, and what you will want is the settings, you will want basically the same, oops, sorry about that, the same settings that I have right here. Uh, vertex Position Off, Vertex Normal Off, UV Sets All, Da, <coughs> that's what we want to you know transfer. Color Sets All, Sample Space, Component, Mirroring Off, Flip UVs Off, Color Borders Preserve. These are what you will want to have. And then we press transfer, and now you can see that we actually. It seems as this arm isn't identical to this arm, which is kind of bad, but we have the seams uh, done right, so we can actually take this arm here. And um, first of all, we'll take both these and delete history by going to mod edit, uh, delete by type history. Uh, so now we can take this arm and select the UVs here. And as we have the uh, the seams all worked out, we can just press unwrap again. And that will try and fix it seemingly. Let me just see here. Oh, I know what the issue was. Uh, let's place some 
before we let's undo before we transfer to there and let's let me take this one and just make a plane wrap first to take all take away all the unnecessary seams that might already be there. So now I'll take this arm and this arm and I will go to uh, mesh transfer attributes and I already have the same. Actually no that didn't do it. That seems odd. Uh yeah. Let's see here. Mesh transfer attribute and it it seems like this arm isn't identical to the other arm. So I'll just delete this from that. Select the UVs and uh, let me see I wanna do this here. Let me go through here and display UV borders. Oh that's the issue. <laughs> Okay, that's a very bad issue here. So let me just select all the edges, move and sew them, uh, which didn't quite work out. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll I just okay I'll do the other one later on as I don't have that much time on this tutorial. But basically doing the same thing as we did on this arm on this arm. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Very quick tutorial again. Thanks for watching and please rate and comment. Uh, I appreciate your support. And I will see you in my next story, which will be the links. So I'll see you there.